All right, so I'm Eva DeVoe here with Danielle Dryla today, and we're going to be doing 23 questions for 2023. What's up, guys? All right, we're going to start off with um, high school. So how is high school going for you? Like, I how would, would you describe it? So I would say I love school. I've always loved school. Senior year is by far the best. I know this school in and out i know every teacher i know every hallway i know exactly what i can do and what i can't do so school just becomes so much more easier lean back so much more fun um i love senior year so what would you say is a goal that you have achieved this year or you would even want to achieve this year i would say the goal i have achieved is my ranking in the class um i've wanted that before i even went into high school and then a goal i will achieve graduating i guess <laughs> what is like what are the colleges you're interested in like any top threes top twos okay i applied to nine schools i think I, my safeties are Rutgers and st joe's i'm not super interested in them but if i had to choose i'd pick Rutgers. my top schools right now are probably vanderbilt nyu them ivy leagues man. and you penn yeah i know so what would you say you're going to major in, you think? Is there anything you're completely interested in? Finance. Absolutely finance. I want to minor in political science. Um, I know they're unrelated, but I still want to do them both, and that's it. Get into, like, the fun part. We got everything serious out of the way. Dogs or cats? Dogs. I hate cats. I hate cats. Every single one. If you have a cat, I will be disgusted. I don't care if this cat is awesome. I hate them. Even if it's like a kitten, like a yep. cute little kitten. All cats. Really? Yep. I, I, I'm scared of them. I'm and scared they can them. sense it. They I'm, know yeah, I'm scared. I'm like scared of big cats, but not like small cats. Not all I like cats. kittens. I, like I can deal with a better. kitten. I think I could get down with like a lion or a tiger, but like a little I kitten. Would ha I think I would have a lion as a pet. Next question. Would, would you have a lion as a pet? Or like, <laughs> or like, 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 a, like a, what's the other one called? Like the tiger? Yeah, like a tiger. Kind of like that. Yeah. I think a lion could be awesome, but I feel like I would be the lion's pet. And yeah, <laughs> or it's food. Yes. We, we never know here. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to be honest. I would stay in America. I would not leave really? this country. Living. Citizen, I would like to visit a lot of places, but like citizenship wise. I agree. America. Um, I like New Jersey. I think New Jersey's awesome. We have two big cities near us. We I agree. Beach. I low key would go to the city. I, I think. Agreed. I think like in my like young ages yeah from like, like third till like i'm like 30 yeah like 100 living in 30. the city yeah i want to be in new york yes agreed yes i'm also not opposed to Car north carolina i agree i think but that awesome. i feel like north carolina is like a family time yeah like, all right I'm, I'm settling right? down now and i'm yeah. going there i'm building my big house yeah but nyc is in our future all right next question <laughs> if you had one million dollars what would you buy oh. or what would you do with it all right I know this is the most boring answer ever. All right, fun answer. I'd probably take a nice little trip to Bora Bora, like I've the done, most. That's about like. I feel like I would. I feel like as we are right now, I'd be like saving it. You know yeah, I mean? but like real answer, I'm investing it. I'm investing. One hundred percent. You're making that money. Agreed. All right, we're gonna get it real intense here. All right. Marvel or DC? Marvel. I hate DC. <laughs> I can barely see the screen when I'm watching a DC movie. I 100% oh agree. But Marvel? And looking at those men? I know. Marvel really like looking. consumes me, I swear to God. <laughs> I still got to see Ant-Man, Quantumanium though. I'm a little behind. All right. What's the best snack in your opinion? This is a very hard question. I know because they're all delicious. All right. Sometimes of the day, usually night, I really love Cheetos. Like Cheetos, ooh. And, and then they're like, such a controversial yes, topic. I like, know. And then I'll eat them to the point that my fingers are like stained. Yes, orange. and then you lick it off your fingers. <laughs> yes. That's the best part. Yeah, I agree. But like, I also love Cheetos. Right. Something that makes you excited to get out of bed in the morning. Oh my God. Yeah, like honest, excited, uh, uh, straight up. The chocolate chip and strawberry waffles at the Gazera house. Oh, those Belgian waffles. Yes. That is something that gets I me out of get bed in the out morning. Of bed for them. 100, That's I, like the one, big one. I totally agree. 100%. What is your favorite Disney movie and why? Oh, my God. All right. I don't know if this is Disney. I believe it's Disney, but it might fall under Pixar. Wreck It Ralph. 
Wreck It Ralph. I haven't seen that in so long. So many people don't agree. Something about Wreck It Ralph, really, every time I watch it, big old smile on my face every time. You know, I really feel like that about Encanto. I'd just be like, we don't talk about, about Bruno. Bruno. Yeah, yeah no. you know what I mean? Like, Encanto I'm messing with that. was a cool one watch, but you that's think? it, a one watch. I now, like, the soundtrack, that can get replayed. Oh, yeah, I can, I can play that in my car, you know. But the movie, there is no plot line. I don't even care. Okay, I guess you're kind of right. I guess, but like, I just think the mu- music, it just gets me going. It I makes agree. Me happy. I agree. So I think that's why it's like a top. But I also like Rapunzel. Ooh! Like, mainly because like, look at her hair. It's just... When that's like a once braided. a year like watch like i have to watch it every year all right yeah. at least once i love that movie that's a good one too um, who inspires you the most oh my god i hate this question <laughs> inspires yeah all right i'm taking this question a different way i would say influenced is my father i'm influenced the most by my father inspired i don't know honestly Mr. Grotman inspires me. <laughs> he's an he, awesome he's man. He's so intelligent. He's a great teacher. Awesome. I had him my freshman year. Yep. He inspires me to do more with my life. What is something you think you take for granted? Whether it's in like your high school experiences or your just life in general. I would say, honestly, like my family. Like yeah. straight up, I feel like I don't really, when my family's all together, I don't appreciate that time enough because they're all in school and stuff. Yeah. So when we're all together, all seven of us, I need to like take it in and really enjoy the moment. Yeah, I agree with that. Who's your favorite dry low sister? Oh my God, you can't even ask that question. I feel like I have to know. Favorite? I don't have a favorite. There's not one that I like more than the all others. Right. But what's, which one would you more enjoy like hanging out with? I feel like I can't answer that. That's like messed up. All right, fine. Now, is there positives to each of them? Yes. Who I think I would enjoy, like, going out in town with? Riley, probably. Riley's cool. She's funny. Nah. Who do you think would play you in a movie? Oh, my God. All right. All right. This is so arrogant. Like, very arrogant. (laughs) But I have been told I look like Kendall Jenner. So I can times. see that because it's just how you look, how you carry yourself. Like, ra- yeah, like random times at my random job, strangers will come in and be like, oh my God, you look like Kendall. And I'm flattered. Like, I love her. I don't see it in myself. But like, from what people have told me, I guess maybe she would play me for the looks, for the personality. I feel like the that blonde girl from The Good Place, the one that plays Anna in Frozen, she seems super yeah. like giddy and stuff, but not looks, but like, I guess personality. That's good. I, I get that. Yeah. I can see Kendall with that, with that looks vibe. Yeah. That's the only one I got though. <laughs> speed this up here. All right. Speed around. All right. Favorite sport. Ooh. Ooh. To watch football, to play pole vault. All right. Um, dream car. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but this one Maserati I really saw I liked, but a Porsche 911. I feel like it's a girly sports car, and I really, really? like that. Yep, white tan interior. Must I just want a, a Bronco. Top. Those the Broncos, Broncos oh, yeah. they, just, they just do something like in the summer with the. With the Agreed. Right. I want a car collection though. All right. Really? Yep. That's my dream. Like to have an, a detached garage with like eight different cars, and I can choose them. All right. Favorite flower? I don't like that. I don't know. Really? I think tulips are really pretty. I just feel like sunflowers are just a vibe. Or like daisies are like. Daisies are like, I don't really rock with sunflowers, but tulips, I love how they're all different colors. I love tulip bouquets. Tulips, they're good. What's the best meal that you can cook? I can cook myself. Yeah. Like I can't cook. You won't catch me. Like I can, I can make myself a mean piece of toast, but like. I can make myself a mean grilled cheese. All right, I can do that too. But you want to know something gross? What? Dipped in Polynesian sauce from Chick Fil A. That no, end it. <laughs> all right, then what's more? Right, knowing more right, about that, Ava Novello. That brings me that that brings me to our next question. Then, like, what's the weirdest food combo? My personal yeah. one. I eat Doritos with ketchup on them. All right, you see, I yeah. heavily love ketchup. I put it on I love everything. Ketchup. So Doritos I feel like with ketchup don't knock it until you try it. I, would you rather be rich? With no friends or poor with many friends? Oh, my God. You think this would be the obvious, like, loving answer? I think about this frequently. I value my own personal success very highly in my life, but I also value friendships. And to live a whole life 
I think I'd have to say friends. I just value friendships over almost anything. I'm a very like relationship kind of person. I agree, but I feel like I feel that way. I don't know. This is hard because I value like my own, like I feel I value my work and my success so, so highly, but I also value my friends highly. Obviously I love them and I think I'd have to live a life with friends and no money. I agree. And I feel like you can make some of that money. You don't just gotta be rich. I can be like an average person partying and having fun with my friends. And I can have awesome friends. That's your thanks for having me. That's your student council president, Danielle Drylo. Hope to see you guys in the hallways.